All right, welcome to the training video, a uh, short video that is on how to use the Trade Ideas Paper Trade module. Um, first thing we need to do is get you to the, um, the correct website. And let's do that right now. We'll pull up a browser and we will go to tradeideas.com. And all you need to do is click download software, Please scroll down to the beta. We want you to load the beta version so you have the most up-to-date um, version. Uh, if you haven't already done so, uninstall your current program and then download and install the new program there, the beta version. All right, so once you have installed that beta version, this is the module we need to get to. And the way in which you get to this is simply new B plus window right there. The brokerage plus window will open. And from there, you're going to go to the upper left and immediately you're, probably going to, you're going to have a red bar, unlike my green bar. You're going to have two controls. The first control is for the live traders who have an interactive brokerage account. But the new second option is the Trade Ideas in-house paper trading module. Go ahead and click onto that and then you will certainly have a green connection bar. All right, now there's three ways to use the paper trading module, and I'm going to quickly demonstrate all three of them. Uh, the first is just a discretionary manual trading, and I'm going to highlight this area down here. This is the uh, module, along with these hot buttons, that one would use for manual uh, buying and selling of stock. And let's go ahead and do an example of that right now. I'm going to type in a symbol here. Uh, let's uh, do something like maybe Tesla. That's been a fun one lately. And Tesla looks like it might be giving back some of its gains. It's under pressure here midday too, so maybe we decide we would like to go short Tesla. Well, down here at the bottom, uh, 40 shares is probably too much for me on a $300 stock if we're doing a small demonstration account, which we're doing here. So I'm going to do something simple, just like 10 shares. And I can either buy or sell immediately from this position. So a quick sell would be an initiation of a short sell. Let's click that. And you see we just had Tesla pop up on our position tab. So we haven't talked about that yet. These are our tabs. The position tab is going to be the most one you're going to be using uh, the most often. Orders tab is going to show today's orders. Uh, executions similarly to orders. A quick summary on the end of the day on how what your trades did. And we'll get to these other tabs here in a moment. But again, to just buy and sell manually, the brokerage plus module is linked to the charts so you can pull up a chart the symbol will already be down here for you now let's say we want to uh, we want to get out of half of this uh, well this is a short trade here in Tesla and we've got negative 10 with 10 shares short here's our profit and loss today you, know, you can control what you want to see on these columns by right clicking along the columns here and you can open or close any other columns you want to see but for the moment, we have 10 shares short. We'd like to get out of half. I'm going to use this half button and watch what will happen here. Oops, we need to first highlight Tesla and click the hot button for half. We have now covered half, and we are only short five shares. All right. If we would like to get out of the remaining position, we can click the highlight button and flatten. Flatten will get me out altogether, and now Tesla has disappeared from our positions tab. All right, so that's basically the way you would use the, the first version of manual order entry um, paper trading. The second version is going to be, I'll go to the Holly tab here, and here we are on the Holly tab. And real quick, let's just talk about how you can mimic the uh, Holly trades. I'm going to come into today's Holly strategy tab and show you that this Holly strategy tab today, strategy window, I should say, pretty much mirrors what we have in the brokerage plus all right so we can turn on all of these or some of these maybe maybe half of the maybe longs or maybe just shorts but the point is this is our key window over here I can double click the strategies that tested the best last night so quarterback breakout downward dog maybe I just want to select those I can select uh, all of them longs and shorts right click and say um, enable these selected strategies or I can do what I said earlier I can select quarterback individually enable that selected strategy and you see it now turned to on we also have breakout where's breakout well it's up here at the top let's go ahead and highlight that and enable that strategy as well and maybe downward dog um, which is down here in the short versions and we can enable that strategy so now we have three strategies enabled if you just have that enabled when Holly uh, signals a trade based on one of these main strategies your 
paper trading module will participate. Now quickly, let's go in and edit the long strategies. Not much to do here uh, other than let you know you have some options to uh, trade and risk off, which means get in and get out with the AI, or risk on, which means get in with the AI, but you have to manage your own entry. Um, position sizing, this is a great one. How many shares do you want Holly to buy? Based on stop loss, if you don't want to lose more than $50, well then you would set it to something like that. And that's pretty much the basic controls for how you want to control individual trading. Um, again, you can turn all of them on. We can turn off all the longs, disable all the longs. Uh, we can disable all the shorts, disable those shorts, and now we have nothing running. Okay, so it's very much uh, user controlled how you want to start the day, which strategies you want to be turned on and which ones you want to be turned off. One more thing is re-entry enabled. If you're in a long trade and it got stopped out, but that trade comes back up to the midpoint between the stop and the original entry, that midpoint will trigger you to get back into that same trade. So it's like a second attempt at the same trade, but you have to have these checked in order for that to happen. All right, so that is the basics of the second way in which you might use the Trade Ideas paper trading module. And the third and the most uh, complex or the most advanced is if you know what you want to do with your trades, you're going to come to the strategy tab here. And these are strategies that I may have loaded. Let me give you a perfect example. We can take this alert window and say every time a alert comes out where this arrow would be here, I want to buy because that's when this alert came out. LPG made a new low, but I want to buy that point. So I can take this alert. And I can right click and save the strategy cloud. Save and share is what we're going to do. Actually, we'll just save it. That's all we need to do. Then we come here and we right click inside the strategy panel. We want to load from our cloud and it's right there ready to go. So I'm going to load it and I'm going to add to existing. And there it is, limit jam down by. Let's turn it on because right now it's defaulted to off. All of these will be defaulted to off. We'll go ahead and we will enable that strategy. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, we highlight it here and then we click, we need the button. There we go, we need to enable that strategy. Now it's on. Now from there, we can determine much more edits of our strategy. There's a lot more we can do to edit what time of day we want it to use, um, how many, uh, again, fixed dollars or based on stop loss. We can do that again. We can do $50 maximum stop loss. Um, down here on the limit offset, we can see how far above the offer we want to buy. The more negative the number, the more aggressive above the offer it will be. So that is the third way in which you can load your own strategies in for auto trading. And all of those trades will show up essentially on your position tab. So that's it for the basics of paper trading. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, come to the live chat or email us at info at trade-ideas.com. Thank you.